hello my perfectly glazed honey hams how is everybody tonight i hope you are all doing well as for me uh, i'm having a hard time tonight so what you see in front of you is a painting that i did that i absolutely hate and i'm going to pour over it so why do i hate it a i did not use any opaque colors besides the black which i did not have enough of so it's too shimmery there's too much gold the composition sucks and i'm showing it so that you all know that we all have a bad day here and there for me believe it or not more often than not so i'm starting to sound like dr seuss so let me shut up <laughs> anyway so I have some beautiful new colors I'm going to show you. We are going to pour over the ugly with the brand new Galaxy Diamond line by Color Art. I'm going to use a few colors here. I'm going to mix them on camera with you. I want to make something clear. Although they look extremely glittery, there is zero glitter in them, which is beautiful because... Every time I use a pigment that has glitter in it for the sparkle, it leaves a gritty, glittery, sandy mess behind, and I cannot stand it. These sparkle because the mica flakes are extra. The mica flakes are being extra. I'm going to talk like the kids do these days. For us oldies that don't know what that means, it's, you know, you're extra. You're being dramatic <laughs> so enough of the language lessons let me just show you the size of these flakes they are absolutely gorgeous so they just sparkle all on their own because they are so big and the thing is is you don't need a lot of it which is even better for the pocket. So I'm going to put my gloves on here. I'm a little bass backwards. And we're going to get right into it. So I have stone coat resin mixed up. I'm using the countertop resin. It is fine for me. The art coat, I believe, has a higher heat resistance. And... Um, for me, for artwork, I'm not necessarily caring about the heat resistance. So I get this the countertop because it is expensive to run a channel. And if I could save 10 or 15 bucks on a gallon of resin, I will. So here we go. I'm going to first set aside a cup with my black in it. And I'm also going to try to do some kindergarten kindergarten mixing we'll call it <laughs> so I want to have some opaque colors to go in with these sparkling colors because too much sparkle sometimes is a bad thing believe it or not so I only for for matte colors the only colors that I have are Lorez and I need a purple I have purple rain but it's transparent and I don't want transparent so I'm going to take some of the dory which is a blue with sassy red which is red and see if I could come up with a nice shade of purple blue and red make purple hence the kid and garden mixology here so I'm gonna put in some of the blue now I'm not sure if this is gonna work with paste I shall find out soon enough though so there's my blue and it still may be a transparent purple but let's get that sassy red in there first before I run my mouth
So here comes the red now. I'm going to put more of that in than I did the blue. Let's see if we could get a nice purple here. And I think that I put in too much of the red, not enough of the blue, because I have an ugly brown now. So, let me get a clean stick. And grab some more blue. And I have a feeling this is not going to work. So... Let's see here. So all I'm coming up with here is some really dark chocolatey brown. <laughs> so I guess we're not going to go with that. Alrighty then. It's very interesting. So blue and red do not make purple in the paste world. So I'm going to grab out my cups here. I also have some sapphire blue that I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm not going to make you wa watch me mix all of these up. I just want to show you at least one or two. Well, I want to show you all the colors, but I mean, as far as mixing, I just want to show you how easy they mix in. And then I'll save a little bit of clear in case I need it for after. So... Let me mix one of those in. I'm going to be using amaryllis. These are an eighth of a teaspoon per ounce of resin. Those are the mixing directions. And that fast it is mixed in. Okay, and I will show you these in a second. Next one I'm going with is Pink Mink. They also have awesome names. And then the last one of those I'm going to use is the Purple Galaxy, if I can find it. Where did you go, Purple Galaxy? This is my favorite color, the Purple Galaxy. It is a purple, and it looks like it has blue and red glitter in it but again as i said they do not have glitter in them it's just the mica flake the light the light refracting off of the mica flake now if you want the complete science behind these you want to go to leslie onstat's channel she is linked below she is the creator of all these beautiful colors and she can give you the scientific terms for these, whereas I can just say they're beautiful and you should try them out. So this was the Amaryllis. 
Let me get right up in there. See if you can see that light bouncing off those colors. All right, purple galaxy. I mean, come on, look at this color. And pink mink. Again, no glitter. It's all the mica flake doing the work. All right, so I'm going to mix up my colors really quick, the rest of them, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all mixed up, ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pour down some black in some random areas. Okay, then I'm going to come in with my colors and I will name them off as I go and the supplier that makes them. This is Appetite Blue, Lorez. By the way, this is a tile I'm working on. Don't know if I mentioned that or not. Now I'm going to pour in some of the blue sapphire by Lorez also. These are my somewhat opaque colors. Well, this is a semi-transparent, I believe. When I say opaque, I'm saying no glittery, sparkly look. Believe it or not, that uh, color that I mixed up with the red and blue, it's a very ugly purple, it looks like. I'm not going to be using that, but I'm just saying, just saying. All right, here's the Purple Rain Lorez. There's a good chance you may see some of this background behind, but we'll see.
All right. And now the sparkly stuff. So first up, Purple Galaxy. I'm going to start filling in some of these little holes here. And this is, again, color art. Purple Galaxy. By the way, you may be watching this video tomorrow, or you may be watching it next year. So when you go to look in the description, because I tell you to look in the description for codes, and you see that a color art code has expired, just go to the website or one of my newer videos and the updated code will be there because they do expire and they are continuously updated. So you got to kind of either look in a newer video or like I said, go to the website. She's really good about listing them right in there. Now I know you may think this is an odd color choice, but just go with me here. So this was the Amaryllis by Color Art. Really beautiful color. And then I have one more after this. And that's going to be the Pink Mink. Pink Mink. I think I'm also going to throw some gilding paint into some resin, aka liquid leaf, and get some gold going through here. Ready? Let me see if I can open my liquid leaf. You can always heat the lids on these if they get stuck. And then it'll come right off. Now this, I honestly do not measure. I just pour a little bit in there. 
It doesn't seem to have a bad effect on the resin. Whereas acrylic paint, if you put, you know, more than 10%, it gets really gummy on you. My experience with acrylic paint is no matter how much I put in it, it gets gummy. So maybe it's just me. I don't know. So now I'm going to just plop some of this in there. Especially between these shimmer colors. I'm not going to use it all right away. Okay. One more spot here and we're good to go. Now, for the black, I am using Midnight Black by Larez, and this works the opposite of Stone Coats Black. This one, you have to blow over the co colors to get cells, whereas Stone Coat, you blow the colors over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line of this right in here. Through the center and then up here also just to help out All right, I think it's that time. All right, so first I'm going to torch to get rid of the bubbles. And I know that I'm going to be using the heat gun and that'll get rid of some. I don't know. I just like doing this. I like seeing them pop. Is it totally necessary right now? No, not at all. Because the heat gun is going to pop those suckers. And I'm trying to get the nozzle off of my heat gun. There we go. And I'm going to put my plaid plus attachment on. This heat gun is from Amazon. It's under $30 and it comes with tons of attachments. Love it. I have a link in my Amazon shop for it. It's a very good investment, especially for this art. All right, so here we go.
I'm just tilting a little bit here. We've got some really crazy cells going on here. I'm going to take my gold now and start doing some uh, streaks through it. Now that I like a lot better than the first thing I had. This is very magical looking. You may not be seeing it, but you will be seeing it as soon as I get that camera down. Just hitting the corners here with the gold. So I did miss some of them. And I'm going to just mix a little more. A little left here. No, I don't. It is heated up in the cup. Let's see if I could get just a little bit out of it. I had that resin mix up for a long time before I started filming. All right. All I need is one more here. All right, I'm done. Done? I'm done. So I'm going to get you down. We have a mermaid worth of color in this painting. <laughs> We have little cells poking out with colors underneath them and wow we but I do like the composition of this one much better than the last one. All right, so let me see if I can give you.
a close up here without shadows. Look at the little cluster of cells. Is that not cool? Little baby clusters. Now, granted, I put a lot of color in here. And you will be able to see it better in the daylight, obviously. Whoa. You're seeing everything else in it. Because it's black, it's hard to film black. So please, please, please excuse me. This area right here, I love. This area right here. And that little bit on the end. So there you have it, people. That is my painting for today. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. If you liked the video, please click the like button. I have a like and dislike, not a thumbs up and thumbs down. And um, don't forget to check out the box for the description box for the coupon codes and the links to the websites and all that jazz. I wish you guys all a great night and happy pouring.